Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Uncle Ron Academy. Today we are going to be doing experiments with fire, and of course safety is our number one priority. Nobody should be doing any experiments with fire without adult supervision. And in addition, to make sure, I'm going to put on my safety goggles as well. The first experiment is known as the jumping flame. So here we have a candle that is lit up. I'm going to take another candle and light it from there and hold it slightly above the first candle. When I blow the top candle out, the fumes are going to reach down and going to reignite the candle based on the heat from the first one. So if you will watch carefully, you'll see how the fire seems to jump from one candle to another. And there we go, let's try it again. It just seems to jump out of the clear blue sky. As soon as it touches the flames, the heat is transferred and it goes from one to the other. That is our first experiment. Our second experiment deals with energy transfer. So here we have a balloon. An ordinary balloon, just air inside of it, and you can probably guess what is going to happen when we heat it up with the candle. So watch carefully, you may wanna hold your ears for this. And here we go. It blows out. Now we're gonna try the same thing with another balloon. But this balloon is slightly different because inside the balloon, there is approximately three ounces of water. Because of that water, the balloon is not going to pop. The water is going to absorb all of the heat and the balloon is going to remain safely in place. So we can actually heat the water up quite a lot. We can actually almost get the water to boil inside the balloon and the balloon will not pop. So you can bet your friends that you can put fire on a balloon and it won't pop as long as you put some water in it as well. And that takes care of experiment number two. And now we come to our third and last experiment. For this experiment, I am using not a candle, but an alcohol lamp. An alcohol lamp is a piece of equipment that is used in high school. It is a glass bowl filled with uh, rubbing alcohol, and rubbing alcohol is quite flammable. There is a cotton wick, and this alcohol flame is much, much hotter than a candle flame is. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up a piece of copper. We're taking an old-fashioned penny and we're going to heat it up in the flame. When you put different elements into fire, the reaction is quite different. So what happens is as the electrons get more and more excited, they give off different colors. Calcium gives off an orange color, strontium gives off a reddish pink color, and copper, the penny is made from copper, is going to give off a green color. So if you will be patient and wait, you will see the fire begin to turn green. And if you look carefully, you can see on the outer edges of the fire, that the fire is actually green. Salt contains sodium. Salt will make the fire turn bright yellow, but it's a little hard to distinguish since most of the time fire looks yellow anyway. And there it is, nice and green. You can actually use this in decorations, especially on the Yule log. You can sprinkle little pennies and other metals into the fire and get all colorful flames. And this is Uncle Ron saying bye.